Alright guys, um, this is Ocean Labs Breaking Ties tutorial, finally, and sorry it took me so long, I can't really do tutorials, I suck at them. But alright, let's just shoot off, um, we're gonna split it into left and right, we're gonna go onto the right part first, because it's a bit easier, um, this is pretty much, you just keep repeating the riff again and again, you just change chords from your left hand. But we're gonna go to the right first, and um, I'm just quickly gonna show you, remind you how it sounds like. So there's your riff. Um, with the right hand, you play C, D, G, A sharp or B flat. I think it is. I'm not too sure. And then again, the same key, but an octave higher. Right. You see. Okay, I'm just going to do it a little bit faster. Once again. Um. But obviously you want to do it much faster than that because that's not how the song goes anyway. But um, if you play that with um, the chord on the left, which I'm going to show you very soon, it's going to sound like this. Okay, so one last time. So that was C, D, G, A sharp or B flat, and the same key, but an octave higher. So that's it for the right hand. Now we're going to move on to the left hand. I'll tell you what the chords are. Obviously, the four chords. The first chord is G minor. Second chord is oh shit! I think this is E flat. That's right. That's E flat, and um, this chord is B flat, and then C minor. But that's not how we're gonna play it. We're gonna play it with. Uh, we're gonna play it like separated, or I don't know how you you call it what you call it, but um, this is how I play it. That's the first chord, which is essentially G minor. That's it. And the second chord, um, you play it like this. Not with two hands, of course, just with left. I'm just showing you so that you can see clearly, and um, the third chord is, you go to this part. But um, the problem right here is, you're going to have to obviously lift your first finger that you use to press this. So if you have a sustain feature on your keyboard or, or your piano, then obviously you'd want to use sustain. So this is without sustain. And this is with sustain, so it has a lot longer release even after you actually lift it up. You see what I mean? And um, I've got a feature that in which I can increase my sustain panel, I think it's a, I don't have a pedal, so I'm just going to use that. You see how that's stretching longer? So if you have that feature, use it. It's really good. That's what I use in my thingy. That, okay, so that was the third chord and for the fourth and final chord you wanna do the same or you're gonna have to do the same lift the first key off because you wanna press this so it goes like this so it's that so that's C minor the fourth chord and um, I'm just gonna play it play the chords once play the riff once and then play them together left hand you have to do all of that with your left hand um, and I'm gonna play the right part without making it slow okay that pretty much is repeated all the time when you change the chord okay so one last time the whole thing together so watch me 
observe both of my hands. Pause if you have to. Um, I'll play it slow so you can see, not very fast, but um, here we go. That's basically it. Um, hope I helped you guys out. Um, yeah, just send me comments, ask me questions, feedback, whatever you guys like, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, heaps more videos coming up soon, as well as tutorials, I hope. Um, I'll see you guys soon then. Thanks. Bye.